My name's Elaine Ross. I'm the Aquila brand manager. I'd like to introduce to you the all new Aquila 42 yacht. Please step aboard and take a tour. The Aquila 42 yacht is designed by VPLP, a renowned designer, maritime designer out of France. What they've done is quite remarkable on the underside of the boat. It is a full planing hull. So as, as the boat gets up to speed, there's hardly any bow rise. Um, she gets up on speed, cruises exceptionally well, handling, handling is fantastic. And in terms of the planing hull, what you're gonna see is your aft sponsons. I mean, they, they're significantly wide. Between your aft sponsons, you've got the dinghy platform. Um, it is non-hydraulic, so it is a fixed platform. These are your chalk points for your chalks for when you have the dinghy. To raise and lower your dinghy, we have a concealed crane system, and it's really nice because we don't take up room on the sponsons or the dinghy deck and just with a davit. Um, so to have that up and tucked away, out of the way, is really, really nice. It just really opens up the aft platform. The other great aspect that I really like about it, if you enjoy swinging in hammocks, it's a perfect place to hook up a hammock and just hang out over the water. It extends out and you can lower it down. So if you want your feet in the water and just hanging out, it's really, really a great concept in a number of ways. To get to the aft sponsons, the starboard side does not have a swim ladder, port side does. We've carried that down from our other models also. So it is a full size swim ladder. You also have close to about six feet of width on each sponson. So plenty of room back here to take it, take it easy, set up um, beach chairs and just hang out on the aft sponsons. To access our swim ladder, it's simply opening this up and our swim ladder slides out. So it is a full teak step swim ladder, six foot almost approximately into the water. So it's really nice because you can tuck it away. It, you're not gonna have anything cluttering your aft sponsons. You've got a big beach deck back here. So just close this. Tuck it away, lock it in place, and there you go. You've got a ton of space back here. The other really important design aspect is that VPLP did a tremendous job in decluttering the aft cockpit space. So what we don't have is a lot of stainless steel piping or FRP or fiberglass supports. What you're gonna notice when you see the yacht from the aft or view from the aft is how open it is but how decluttered it is. And that really changes the atmosphere on board because it, it just opens everything up. It's, a, it's really a great design feature on board. Also, the steps, which are synonymous with all the Aquilas, have been designed on the sponson so that you can come out here. You, it's a great height where you can sit down and have your cup of coffee or orange juice in the morning and take in the water in the back. As I move forward, we've got one step up, which is a very important aspect, lots of boats have multiple steps up from their aft sponsons, but uh, on the 42, we have a single step up, which is really, in my opinion, makes it very simple to get into the aft cockpit. To manage our dinghy crane system, we've got a combination between the manual system in and out, which is just controlled by a winch, similar to what you see on a sailboat. Um, you simply plug it in, crank it in or out. So you have a little toggle underneath, um, adjust your toggle whether you want it to come in or out and that's it to go to lower the rope up and down or your dinghy launch it into the water or hoist it up onto the dinghy platform you have electrical controls back here that are going to raise the dinghy up or lower it into the water you have a bench seat with a very large aft cockpit table perfect for alfresco dining on the starboard side we also have a leaf that i'm just going to move this plant out the way to make additional room um, for a walkway here as you walk through. So this leaf can fold over and then what you'll see is it opens up. So if you have a lot of people that you may be not using the aft cockpit table, it makes the entrance or the walkway path a lot wider for everyone. We also have built-in stainless steel cup holders. So by opening this leaf, you actually gain an additional two cup holders and you have an additional four here. Underneath your bench seating in the back, plenty of room in your lockers to store all your cleaning supplies, your deck brushes, hose, hoses, or life jackets, um, anything that you don't mind getting a little bit wet back there um, if they're cleaning the boat. To my left or forward, we've got our synonymous or well-known bar top that closes or opens in this case. 
which really brings the outside inside into the Akiva 42. Probably one of the, my favorite entertaining areas other than the Flybridge. It's just a great area if you have guests both inside or outside where you can sit here and you can communicate and entertain with both. Um, to close it, it's very simple. You just pull up the bar top. There's a safety latch that goes into place and a safety latch here. We pull down and very simple to close. On the inside, um, approximately here and here, there's two handles that you fold over and it will lock it into place. So in this case, we are just gonna leave it open for now for this tour and keep the bar top open. So while we're back here, I'd like to take a look at the engine rooms. On the port side engine room, I'm gonna climb down there and just help you get a scale of the size. It's a voluminous space. Um, in there, we've got our fuel tank, which we have two fuel tanks, a total of 290 gallons. We also, in this version, in this special edition version for owner of hull number one, they've elected to go with the Volvo D4 300s. The standard version is Volvo D4 230s. So both versions are great for cruising. Obviously with the more horsepower, it's gonna give you a little bit more top end. So your cruising speed is gonna, and your wide open throttle is gonna be a little bit higher than your 230s. So I'm just gonna climb down there, help you get some sense of scale. So it's a very easy engine room to access. They've got a nifty little ladder system that's been incorporated. This is our underwater exhaust system. So when the boat is underway, we're at dock, we actually have a very quiet running engine, um, minimal decibels. And in here, so I'm, I'm five foot nine, um, so it is approximately at chest level. So it's easy to get in here for your technicians or if you're an owner that likes to do your own maintenance and service, plenty of room to get in here for work on the bulkhead, all your electrical connections, as well as your fuel filters and accessing your oil for oil changes and all your generous routine environment. So well thought out, well laid out. We have a straight drive, not a V drive, um, which is really nice. This boat jumps up on plane exceptionally easy with these D4 300s. Um, yeah, I can't say enough about this hull design that VPLP has done. It's just, it's exceptional the way that she gets up on plane. One thing that VPLP and Aquila really dedicated time to they did not want to compromise being able to do long distance cruising on this boat. She is CE certified. She's built for efficiency. She's built for speed of a boat of this size. Now she's not going to get up to the speeds of an equivalent monohull. It's just not, it's not going to happen in power catamaran, but this is built on comfort, but she's also built on cruising and she is able to get up and cruise at 18 knots easily. Um, very, very comfortable. So. It's just something that VPLP and Aquila were not willing to compromise on. And that is the foundation of speed and efficiency that goes into every Aquila hull. So I'm going to step out of the engine room and we'll move forward into the salon and galley. One of the immediate things that you're gonna notice is how wide this entry bifold door is. Tempered glass, very significantly wide. Just a really great feature um, to have this open space as you walk in, plenty of room for two, three people to get by each other. In hull number one, which is a special version, special edition version, uh, what we have done is we have an elongated countertop for the galley. We've got a two burner induction cooktop. We have an oven underneath, the Bosch oven. We have a microwave. In here, we've got a ice maker. And we have got a sink, obviously, variable temperature, hot and cold water. Underneath the countertop, we have significant storage with a rubbish bin, shelving, so plenty of places to put your, put your belongings for the galley. If you like to cook, this really is a chef version um, on this size boat. So tons of entertainment space for cooking, laying out your, laying out your meals or your drinks. Um, we have little cutties back here for storing your items that you may not want to move while you're underway if you're going into a little bit heavier sea state. Um, so a really nice little version for storing goods that you just want to put tucked away. The other item that you're going to notice is we have some concealed outlets. You're also going to see throughout the boat where we've got USB ports, um, outlets with USB ports for charging your cell phones or laptops. Um, to my right or to the starboard of the boat is our access stairway down into our guest cabin. 
forward of me or forward of the galley in this version will be stairs down into the owner's cabin, um, which is a bit bigger than your guest cabin. So very, very nice layout. Um, as you walk into the salon, you don't have any steps from your aft cockpit into your salon or going down into your stairs. You do have stairs going down, but you don't have any additional stairs in your salon. To my right, we have a salon table with a nice U-shaped settee. Plenty of room to seat four here or more. Um, you could probably get up to six if you're including kids or smaller adults. The salon table does fold down into a, um, into a bed with a filling cushion. So if you do have additional guests on board, it's an easy place to have those additional guests sleep on board. The other items you're going to notice, um, obviously one of the most important items on board a boat when you, when you come on is where do you store your um, cold goods. So we have a large size refrigerator and a large size freezer underneath. Plenty of room in here. We also have additional storage in here in this cupboard. And then on the exterior of the salon, around the edges, we've got little nooks and crannies where you can store your books. No shortage of storage on this boat. It's really remarkable how much storage that they've really been able to fill in. Before you head into the utility cabin, what we have is a navigation station. You've got your VHF, you've got your fusion control there for your audio system. In the ceiling, we've got a drop-down TV. We have not fitted the TV in this version just yet. Um, but I will show you where that is going to go, which makes for a very nice location. If you're sitting at the salon table or you have this lowered and you've got kids and, or you're just a couple and you're looking, that's not so nice weather outside and you just want to take in a movie. So you've got perfect place for your drop down TV. So a really nice design, nice to get it tucked out of the way. As you look through here, it's just remarkable the amount of scenery that you can take in. You've got close to 360 degree view around here. The other really important item that I, I like to focus on or, or appreciate that uh, the developers at VPLP and Sinu Eagle have done with Aquila is they've made the seating the appropriate height for you to appreciate the scenery around you and take in the full view. Perfect height to really sit back and appreciate everything. So what I'd like to do at this time is take you down to the guest cabin. So plenty of room in here. Again, we've got lots of built-in storage. We've got a hanging locker, plenty of room for a suitcase, hanging clothes. We have little bookshelves built in. We've got our climate control controls back there, which is a really nice feature. That way you can lay in bed. Um, you don't have to step out and come into the hallway to adjust your temperature up or down. You can simply do it laying in bed and rolling over. So a very nice uh, thought process that they've done. We also have outlets and we have light controls uh, tucked away. Moving aft of the boat, um, we have the ensuite head, which in this standard version, which is a two cabin plus a utility cabin, we have the ensuite head for the guest cabin, which can double as the day head for any secondary guests that you may have on board. So forward in the salon is what we refer to as a utility cabin. In here, you're going to have a single bunk to starboard. And to the port side, you're going to have a single combined unit for your washer dryer. You have an option for a wine chiller if, and then you've got additional storage throughout. So really good use of space. The important aspect, this is the base boat version or standard version, which is a two cabin plus the utility cabin. We also have cabin configurations in a three cabin, which is a three cabin with ensuite, three ensuite heads for each cabin. And then we have a four cabin version with three heads. So in the four cabin version, the master cabin basically shares a head. And so you have three guest cabins plus a cabin up here with a head with an ensuite head down the stairs. But as we move forward and we get to the storage locker, I'll walk you through how all of that transitions and comes together should you elect to choose a three cabin version or the four cabin version over the standard two cabin version. But in this version, we truly believe and the design elements were taken in for a young couple or even an older couple or somebody looking to downsize or maybe even a young family that's looking to upsize from our sport line and do regional cruising or do the loop and in that case, they may not need all the room. They don't need the full beam master suite. They have a master cabin. 
They have a guest cabin. They have a salon table that folds down into a bed. They've got a single bunk. They can do a lot of take on a lot of guests. So there's lots of options just in this two cabin version alone. But with the three cabin, three head version, four cabin, three head version, those are more geared to people that are, intend to have more guests on board or going into the charter program or items like that. So whatever your style of boating or needs are, um, there's a configuration that you can certainly look at for the 42. The other item that I would like to mention is that the 42 yacht is not a replacement for the Aquila 44. If you are in the market for a power catamaran and the full beam master suite is something that's really important to you, then the 44 is what you want to look at. 42 is not going to offer that. And that's by design. We feel that this is an introduction to the yacht line. And as your family grows, you can step up into the 44 or the 54 or the 70. Or if you're in already in those larger models, you can transition down into a smaller yacht such as a 42. So whether you're moving up or down, there's a great Aquila Power Catamaran for you. So let me move down into the port sponson and then we'll take a look at the master cabin. First thing you're gonna notice is there's a tremendous amount of room in here. The first time I stepped on board the 42, I had seen the drawings. I thought, wow, it's gonna be, I was pleasantly surprised, let me put it that way, when I stepped on board and saw how large the master cabin was. There's a lot of room in here, a lot of storage. It's a great use of space. They've taken the detail with the recessed lighting all the way around. The, nice fabric covering so you've got really nice fabric you've got a headboard you've got these tremendous views out so when you're laying in bed um, you can look out over the water additionally you have tons of headroom so there's no risk at all if you're a tall person i'm not but if you are um, on the tall side you are not going to have it have an issue with your head um, unless you're probably over seven feet um, but even if you're sitting in the bed, you're going to have plenty of headroom out there. So in here, we've got we've got storage lockers. Uh, we've got drawers, um, places for shoes. We've got a hanging locker forward of me, which is towards the ensuite head. Underneath here, you've got built-in blinds, um, which fold down. We've got a vanity for the ladies um, with a built-in mirror. So it makes a very nice, very simple place for them to sit and do their makeup um, for a gentleman. They can obviously use the head, they work worktop table space. Aquila has also done a very good job at concealing the outlets as well as the climate control. So everywhere you see, you're gonna have a tucked away outlet. You're gonna have USB ports that you can plug into. Even on the desk here, they've done a very good job where they have uh, cable access that gets tucked away and concealed so you don't have cables everywhere. So. Just very good design elements that VPLP and Aquila have done in really taking things into consideration and upping the level of, of the 42 yacht. So I'm just gonna move forward and we'll take a look at the ensuite head to give you an idea of what's in the, in the master head. One thing you'll notice, I mean, there's plenty of room from beam to beam. You've got a toilet, a sink, and then you've got a privacy glass for your shower with a nice built-in seat. You've got a porthole over here and access, uh, viewing access points out and a hatch above you. So it's a really great use of space um, for your shower. You also have a wand shower as well as a rain shower, which is um, personally one of my favorite items. So everyone loves a good rain shower and I'm really glad Aquila took that into consideration and included it in the build. So we're gonna move forward and transition up towards the flybridge and the four deck and then we'll uh, take a look at the large storage locker in this one in the four deck and give you an idea of a cruiser's version or the standard version in this case what that locker consists of so let's move forward and we'll take it from there so in the flybridge one of the first things that you're going to notice is the amount of seating that we have up here we've got a large bench seat in the back that flows up or into an owl basically that goes all the way up to the forward section of the flybridge over on the starboard side we've got a chaise lounger and at our pilot seat or captain seat uh, we've got room for two with bolsters but i'll come back to that first going to start back here at the table we have a centerpiece that unsnaps and this obviously gets tucked away in the locker we have a dedicated storage for that 
but this folds in and then you have ample easy access over to your bench seating so it's really nice um, you don't have to have that leaf filled in all the time depending on how many people you've got on board um, we like to leave it off it's just easier to get back into this aft seating section we've got built-in cup holders um, really really great place to relax back here we've got great view great line of sight forward and forward of me <clears throat> we've got a fantastic grill area with a kenyan induction grill we've got a variable faucet sink hot and cold water and it tucks away below that we've got an option for an ice maker as well as a full or not a full-size refrigerator but full size for a flybridge version which is great so that way you don't need to go down to the galley and get your cool drinks all the time so really really great setup here um, easy to entertain easy to be involved with your guests or family nice concealed design that when not in use you can close it and then you have a walkway around both sides forward to your navigation area. Um, here at your seating of your navigation area, you've got your bolstered seats that fold down. So depending if you like to stand or drive or you need additional leg support, you can flip these up or down just depending on what your needs are. You've got your Volvo engine throttle controls, um, your Aquila specialized steering wheel, you got your Ray Marine MFD, Volvo Penta digital display. We've got some tactile display buttons here, excuse me, for our nav lights, uh, red light. Different strip lighting up here for if it's at dusk or in the evening, there's plenty of lighting up here. So really a great autopilot. Forgot about the autopilot and we have a compass also and our fire, fire suppression system for our engine rooms, which is a really nice safety feature. What we've also done on this version is we've enclosed so we, not fully enclosed, but we've done a wraparound version that is actually really does a phenomenal job protecting you. So this morning it was a little bit chilly out. Um, we had the boat up and running and we were able to close this down and you are fully protected in here. Um, I mean, it's quite remarkable, even with the aft section open, it's just, it's really, really controlled. It's nice if it's summer, and you don't want it up and you just want the warmer warmer air coming through you can actually unzip these remove them and then store them away and you have a completely open flybridge which gives it a different dynamic for your summertime or warmer weather so really good thought thought out process with that underneath your seating you also have additional storage um, you have a cooler also um, so Tons of room up here to put bits and bobs away. A great place on the aft of uh, behind the seating to put a life raft up here, um, which is probably where you'd want to put the life raft up in case something were to happen. Um, so we would install that on the on the aft section back there behind the seating. Forward of us, we've got our 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 acclaimed bridge to bow steps uh, with the handrail down. Um, so follow me as we work our way down to the foredeck. What you're going to notice is on the port side and the starboard side, we've got two lockers. These are great for storing life jackets or fenders, dock lines. Um, one is a, one level is raised slightly. Um, you're able to open it up and it goes a bit deeper. The other one is a deeper well. Um, we've done that on purpose so that if you have fenders, you don't, when you toss them into the locker, they don't go all the way down to the bottom. They're actually halfway up, easy to grab, easy to set up, easy to hang on over the rails. So, just well thought out in that design. Um, to port and starboard also, you've got sun lounging pads. Um, the backrests fold up, so they're great, great for facing forward. Um, if you're just relaxing or you're underway, really a great place for, for people to lay out or congregate and, and sit here. This hatch over here is over the utility cabin. Um, so it is an access point if, if you had a captain on board and that was the area that they were using was in a three cabin version where they've got the cabin in there, um, the ensuite head, they actually could without entering through the salon, they could access their cabin and head directly from the fore deck, which is, which is really nice. Same in the four cabin version. Um, in the two cabin version, they would just access the utility cabin. As we move forward in the fore deck, we've got our ground tackle below here. So your anchor, your windlass, your bridle system, easy to access your 
entry point into your anchor locker is underneath this cushion. There is a hatch. Um, it is a huge cavity in there, so tons of extra space. If you did have extra toys and you needed a, needed the space to put something, um, there is a lot of space in there, um, a lot of space to be used. Also on the port and starboard side, you're going to notice that we've got some bow seating, which is great, great for overseeing the dolphins when you're out running or just simply an additional seat on either side if you've got uh, a group here entertaining and another really great social zone. So that's what Aquila really functions on. What a lot of our boats are built about is we have lots of social zones. So we've got the bow, we've got the flybridge, we've got the aft cockpit, salon, it's just or you've got the aft, you've got the sponsons and, and the dinghy deck. And I mean, it's quite remarkable. So if you're looking to have your own social zone or you're all looking to congregate in one area, there's really a space on board a power catamaran to do that, which is a unique feature. So follow me as I walk around the foredeck. What I'd really like to show you is in the standard version, two cabin plus the utility cabin version, is what we've done with the locker in terms of storage. Now, just keep in mind this locker in the three cabin version converts over to a head, which you access through the utility cabin with the stairwell going down. So you'll have two access points into the head. You can either access it through the deck or you can access it through the utility cabin. But in this setup, in the two cabin standard version, it, we utilize it purely for storage. So if you are a, a looper where you are running around the Great Loot doing the Great Loop, which by the way, this would be a fantastic boat to do the Great Loop in. You've got 18 foot draft, uh, air height draft from the waterline up, not including the radar. Um, so including the radar, you may want to add another two feet to be safe. So 20 foot max. Um, and, but it's just, it's really well thought out this boat. So you've got room in this locker to store your parts, your fluids, your toys, your stand up paddle boards, um, your paddles, dry goods, um, non-perishables. We also in there have a have a uh, have a igloo or or excuse me an angle uh, freezer slash refrigerator. Um, so if you do have perishable items, there's an additional storage for those items in here. So come come with me and take a look. I'll open it up, step down, and that way you can get uh, get some sense of scale. To access it, it's very simple. You simply turn, sit on your bottom swing your legs in and just below my feet they've got a built-in ladder so you can use <laughs> use this uh, gunner or excuse me not gunner gutter as a handheld but there all are also additional handhelds down below as you work work your way down in here i'm five foot nine so i'm not the tallest of people obviously but for me plenty of headroom even on the sides if i stand here plenty of headroom we are forward in the boat, um, so it does pinch in as you move towards the bow. Um, down here, you've got your angle uh, fridge or freezer, which we utilize. Um, plenty of room to put your uh, fishing rods or boogie boards, life jackets, boat hooks. And inside here is a lot of additional storage with shelving on this side and open on this side but one could build this out so depending on exactly what you're doing what type of cruising or if you're living aboard it's really a blank canvas for you to work with um, which i really appreciate and like um, in this case we've just got tools and some oils orbs and you know the usual stuff that you need on board just to have um, we also have our snorkel gear and some beach beach chairs and everything so just a really great place to throw every, throw a lot of different things um, <clears throat> Down here, underneath the stair, we do have tucked in our breaker for our bow, bow thruster. So if you do disable, you're not using the boat, best turn off your bow thruster breaker. And then when you do come back to use your boat, just remember to turn that breaker back on so your bow thruster functions. So in the three cabin version, which I mentioned outside while on the four deck, this cavity actually turns into a head. So you're going to have a full size head similar to what you saw on the uh, in the guest cabin. Um, but there will be a staircase that runs down from your utility cabin in here and then you have a full size head in here. So that's where the boat really comes alive in the three cabin version because it's three cabin plus three head and then in the four cabin version same thing but your master cabin gets cut in half so you've got uh, four cabins and three heads. So that's it for the utility cabin. I think this is a great use of space. Um, 
very, very versatile. Um, so really look forward to seeing how owners equip this space out. Thank you for joining me on the walkthrough of the all new Aquila 42 yacht. If you'd like to learn more about her, please visit your local Marine Max store. If you're an international client, please visit your local international Aquila dealer, or you can learn more at aquilaboats.com. Thank you for joining me and look forward to seeing you on the water.